Hey guys. Good morning. So it's just kind of a overcast cloudy day today, but it is eight degrees. So I am going out to run some errands. As you guys know that I'll be on my way to North Carolina tomorrow. I will be going to see, I am simply Tippy, Tiffany. I met her on YouTube, well through YouTube, a while back. I don't know exactly when it was. And um, when I took a road trip to Indianapolis, she came up there to see me, or down there, because she was in Michigan. She came down there to see me. We went to the fair together. That was my first time meeting anyone um, that I met on YouTube. And the first time that I've made a real friend since probably high school. I look at her as like a sister to me now and not just a friend. We became close and I believe both of our families thought that or you know, they were concerned because a lot goes on in today's society and in this world. So they were thinking that we might get um, human traffic uh, killed, buried or something. But we're here today, both of us, we're still here. So I am going to pay a visit to her. She just recently relocated to North Carolina going on four weeks now and she is there alone by herself no family i know how that feels because i mean i did have my children with me and everything but i know how that feels to be new to somewhere and not know anybody um but you know sometimes it's the best for you you mature in a lot of different ways um you find more growth when you relocate and everything like I didn't make any more money when I moved down here to Florida than what I was making in Indiana and my rent doubled my utilities doubled my food doubled everything but I lost weight I have had better uh, self-esteem and I was better mentally so a lot of that was for the better for me and I learned to adapt to the money that I did make here so everything has been wonderful here and I love Florida um, I know a lot of people say things about you know our politics and all that but I don't really get into that because they say we have control and power over what happens in the office and with politics but we really don't and I understand that and I'm okay with it because whatever's gonna happen to me is gonna happen regardless that's just the mind frame I have. I choose to have that mind frame that I'm going to live and keep living regardless of what is going on around me because I can't give up on life and I can't give up on my dreams and my goals just because of what somebody else's actions are, what they choose to do. That's just not me. But anyway, I said all that to say that sometimes we have to change the area we're in or change our environment to see growth um i am going to get her a housewarming gift she did mention something when i was talking to her about um getting like a fake plant or something but i'm going to give her the real deal you guys know i love greens i love to gift plants to people and we're going to see if she can keep it alive like I don't know if she's good at it or not, but most people are not. And I always killed plants when I first got them. I always did, but it's something we learn. And it, for one, adds good things to your house. It's beautiful. You get to see life. You get to see the growth just from taking a small seed and every day, seeing it grow a little more and more the same as in yourself as a seed you should be growing every day you should see growth daily weekly monthly and that's the same with the plant 
we wake up and say, oh, let's let's check it out. Oh, it's grown a little bit. I see a new leaf. I see a little a new node. I see a new branch. That's amazing. That's life. And it, it does something like I don't really care for pets, but I love plants. And that's my way of nurturing and raising something and taking care of something. So I hope that you will find joy in growing the plant as she is growing in her life. So I'm going to go in here and get her some balloons and um, a card. And then I'm going to try to find her a plant that may be easy to grow for a beginner. And that's what we'll do. Trusty Dusty Dollar Tree. I wasn't tripping on them going up a 25 cent because they've been only a dollar since they opened. And what other places has stayed the same with their pricing? Nowhere. And a lot of people were complaining about it, but I'm like, why would you complain about a Dollar Tree becoming a dollar twenty-five now when everywhere else have raised price prices two dollars, three dollars, five dollars? Combo meals at McDonald's is almost ten dollars now, I believe. Okay, we got the balloons and we got the card. All right, so I got the balloons as y'all see. I don't know if that was a smart idea now that I think about it. I'm smart, but I guess I'm not that smart. So I have to drive nine and a half hours with these balloons. I could have waited till I touched down and then stopped and got balloons. But you know my thinking, I just want to get it done and out the way because I have to do things a little bit at a time so that I don't feel overwhelmed. So I'm about to go try to find her a plant now. And I still haven't packed and I'm still working. Okay, I'm at Lowe's. I'm going to find her a plant. Okay, so we reached the plant. These are always beautiful, but they're not exactly easy to care for. So here we go. Where did I park it? <laughs> so I actually wanted it for myself, but I have to learn discipline. she should be able to care for this plant quite easily it doesn't take much care okay now I am going to head to the car wash um not that it matters because pollen will be back on OG in a little bit but it's okay we're gonna go ahead and do the car wash anyway like right now the uh car is like green i gassed up get ready to hop on the road i have nine hours and 45 minutes to get there so on my way to north carolina this is how it looks out there gloomy and i don't know what's been going on it's terrible i mean this traffic is terrible. Like, they said it was an accident. I didn't see an accident. It's been dragging for like over an hour. And I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it's adding more and more time. And I already had almost a 10 hour drive. But I guess we'll get there. to savannah now this has been a crazy trip literally so traffic was ter terrible for no reason it wasn't rush hour then it pours down rain you can't see i'm in savannah georgia now did i say that i think i already said that shows how tired i am so now 
it's rush hour traffic <laughs> so I've been having hold up after hold up but I just gotta be cool because everything happens for a reason I'm at the place that I need to be at right now um, I think I left end up leaving at like 11 11 something and it's 5 30 so that's like six hours and it's saying that I have almost five hours left so I didn't uh, took about an hour to stop and work and do different stuff but I'm gonna be getting there about 10 30 it's gonna probably be 11 because I'm gonna have to get gas and I haven't been drinking anything because I don't want to have to stop keep stopping to drink because literally I used the restroom and then got on the highway and I had to use it in like 10 minutes so I haven't had anything to drink and I'm thirsty but it's cool it's just a part of it I'm looking forward to having a good time it's just raining it says 65 when I left home it was 82 
Happy Sunday. Look who I got with me. We getting it again. We at the flea market. Flea market. Y'all hear her? We at the flea market. Hey, everybody. It's nice. It's a good, what, 63 degrees here right now? Yeah, and I was going to wear a shirt. So we're just going to look around. We don't know what we're looking for. We're just out looking. Don't y'all just love flea market? I ain't going to be your husband today. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> you, can, you, you can stand in proxy for Ruben. Look at them big old apples. These apples? Here. Oh, over there. Oh, those are delicious apples. Oh, wait, these tomatoes. Mm hmm. Papaya. The pineapple looks sweet right there. Mm hmm. Oh, I do look good. Like that. Those white potatoes. Good. Is that rutabaga or turnip? Turnip? That's a. That's a rutabaga. Is it? Mm hmm. Go, Sandra. What is this? Oh, soybeans? Mm -hmm. It is a bean, I think. Oh my God, look at these carrots. Mm -hmm. Look at them peppers. All that stuff is huge. I'm gonna get this and some green peppers because those peppers look good. All this stuff look good. Look at those beets. Big old beets. The prickly, the cactus. That's what I got growing cactus. in my yard. You got cactus? Mm -hmm. You buy it to your flea market. In and out. I ain't never heard of no Ford F100. They had an F150, so maybe it's the. Just, just the 100. And then back in the, the day, yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe they added the top to it. Maybe they didn't have a top. Cause I know the F-150s is trucks, pickup trucks, like this, right? You know what? You're right. It's a so then when they made the 50, they put that truck probably. I wonder what year that is. Probably a 70. Yeah. Okay, so I am in North Carolina, and I'm at Tractor Supply right now, getting ready to see what kind of greenery I can find here. I would like to get something from every state and planet. Shell fixing everybody, making them green. I already started with this. <laughs> Getting one side and I can't even lie to you. Yeah. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. Y'all never come to me. Y'all never come to me. Yeah. All she hit me with is come and see me for once. Okay, whatever. This ain't ticket, so that's what I'm thinking. We'll see something. That's a really big deal. I'm glad your dad told us about this. It has 250 rooms. Oh my. And about we made it to the Bill Warren Mansion. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to go check out the winery now. Um, I thought it was gonna be actual grapes and vines, but I guess not. So, it might be though. I mean, I'm hoping that when we get behind the building, we might see something. I'm hoping, but we get to taste the wine. And we, I wanted to get a little tipsy before I go to the gardens because <laughs> so I have a gardens on site, so I'm excited about that. We did have to pay $55, which was a little bit out of my budget. But uh, I think it was like 85 if you 
um, had a tour of the mansion, but we were late. I didn't do my research. Oh, what time? It, so it was open today? Yeah, he said it was closed already. So oh. it might be like noon or something. It might have closed. And we didn't check. I didn't check. Okay, I see why. So, catch you at the winery. This is so nice. <laughs> yes. So it says, quick fact, wine barrels <clears throat> hold 55 to 59 gallons. An empty barrel weighs 120 pounds and about 550 when it's full. And each barrel can uh, contain 275 bottles of wine. Of it It's so beautiful. But it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna get there. It's so beautiful, y'all. Y'all just don't know. Oh my goodness.
Oh my God. This is so beautiful. Right. Oh. You can just smell. You can smell, but you can't touch. They said smell, but you can't touch. It's just so beautiful. These are big old bulbs. Like onions. <laughs> that was so beautiful. It was. Ah, so pretty. Beautiful. If you want to get me, give me a plant. But that's what my husband was like. All you gotta do is put the words free. She she gonna get cat kidnapped if we have a <laughs> A sign on the side of the road saying free. You're going to take it. You're going to cause an accident. <laughs> So I tried two new sushis. This one is a seaweed salad sushi roll. And this one is a wild mushroom and cheese sushi roll. Who was that? Was that us? Morning, good morning. So I am headed home. I had a great time here in North Carolina with Tippy. So um, we did look at some fruit trees and I wanted to get one on my way home. So I am going into Tractor Supply now to go ahead and get my tree and then I'll be getting on the road. So this is Keith's Repair. And it's kind of long, so I don't know if it's going to even fit. I didn't know it was that long, so we're going to sleep. 
Okay, I fit it in. So I put the base of the tree right here and I kind of bent the branches at the top and wrapped them around in a little rag and I had to put some of my stuff in the back up here in the front. So it's in here. I stopped to get gas um, just because I, you know, looked over the interstate and saw that it was a little cheaper right here. I think it's, I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. It, it's saying 285 um, loves, and then I got 10 cent off, so it'll be 275. I'm at a half a tank, so I'm just gonna fill up anyway and use the restroom and then get back on the road. Well, I'm in South Carolina now, and there's a um, tractor supply right off the interstate. So I'm stopping here to see what they have. I wanted to try to get a plant or a tree from North Carolina and South Carolina. These are pretty. This is a crab apple. It has lots of apple blossoms on it. Oh, is that just the name of the flowers? Not really actual crab apples. So it looks like they have some regular apples, peaches, and a plum. So I'm going to see what I can take back home. All right, I got a plum in here. So far we got the plum and the pear right by each other I got off the interstate I'm in Brunswick Georgia right now so I'm at the tractor supply here I'm getting ready to see what they have yeah, their stuff is not looking good in here they don't do a very good job of taking care of their stuff Got this apple from there. Let's see. Let's recap what we got. In North Carolina, we got the pear tree. In South Carolina, we got a plum tree. And now in Georgia, we got an apple tree. And it looks like it's about to rain. But I'm happy that I was able to find a few different trees that will still grow in Florida. You have to always check the chill hours to make sure that the fruit will fruit because they do require a temperature of 40 to 45 degrees, I believe, for chill hours. Certain uh, fruits, I noticed that um, between 200 to, I've been seeing about eight or 900, but I've been get, trying to get low chill hours, like 200 but some of them may be like 300 i think in um where i'm at it's 150 to 200 chill hours uh, a year so those should fruit they may not fruit as good as it would in a colder environment but i think it'll work we're gonna experiment and see my trip to north carolina has come to an end i had such a wonderful time and i would like to thank all you guys for taking the time out to watch I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye-bye.